Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 19, I'm Andy, and this is the Let's Play on the Bjarktop Code. So here we are with our grass mower, which we're gonna bring up to field, I think it's field 11. If I'm, yeah, I think it's field 11. So we're gonna run it on course play, and we're gonna uh, make sure it's, it's, it doesn't swath it into one line, and we're gonna spread it wide. And then we're gonna uh, do some more hay. So we'll do one uh, one more of these hay fields, and then we'll do two silage fields, basically. I sh no, actually, sh oh, oh, yeah, we'll do it that way. I was just thinking that maybe I should actually do this as a silage, silage field because it's closer, but it doesn't really matter. We need to transport everything in anyway. So, let's see. We just check here, so... When we get up here, we're gonna do unfold we need to bring up our mower field so mowing field 11 i think yep so up here i think the starting point is here somewhere so we'll unfold it it's an x just want to see where i am yeah that's the starting point so now we need to make sure um select work mode down below it says it's a left control y so if i press that you get swath dropping left swath right swath or wide spreading so we want wide spreading so start it up we'll lower the mower we'll just send this on its way here so it will it just leaves a big wide, just mows it everything, basically. That's good. And now we want to go and tether it. So we'll go with our six series here. 62R, 6230R. So we'll unfold the tether. And I think this is wide enough to actually do I it might miss a bit in the turns but I don't think that's a big thing so we think this actually does pick up ev no it doesn't no it doesn't pick everything up so we need to we need to do this by hand maybe we should get a wider which is a slightly wider slightly wider tether that wouldn't this wouldn't be a problem oh well We'll do it manually then. Uh, so we tether these this this uh, into hay, and then we s um, windrow it into a nice line, uh, which we then bale. So we need to go and switch the track uh, the 8400 into um, the the bale with to the baler later on when we bale this field, so we can start this way. And since this is the last hay field we're gonna do, and then we're gonna do uh, silage fields, the other ones, and then uh, I can just bring everything back here afterwards. Uh, or back to the farm after this field, and then we'll take the mower uh, and the and the 8400 will put the baler on that one and it will bale so we'll mow first and bale afterwards the 8400 and then we'll use this to collect the bales is it or uh, no sorry we need to use this to actually what do you call it Bu uh, put um, the fo foliage foliage no, not, not, that's not the correct word wrapping we'll put the wrapping onto um onto the the bales and then we'll go and collect them after that's done so it's a bit of a task to, to go around and do this but I think it will be good in the end if I only had it be interesting where to put the line in, on the next lap probably in the middle of so in here, the middle part of that one probably will be where I need to put it. 
Now I'm putting it at the edge of the middle, left edge of the middle line. I need to put it slightly more to the left on the next lap. Next uh, round. Lap, no lap. I guess lap. It's a lap. Next lap. Um, see how it looks. Yeah, okay. So I'm thinking if I put it in the middle here, that should probably be sufficient. Yeah, it is. So, middle of that one seems to be good. I see it's slightly to the right of the middle, maybe? No, actually, I know it's in the middle of that one because the other one to the left there is the last bit of the other side. Now I have some issues because it's actually sort of entwined. In uh, I thought I had a system, but that's not gonna work because everything is changing. We'll, we'll try and wing it. I think if you sort of have this part to l like looks like it's on the edge of the, the other one, so if you put uh, if you put this so it's sort of this line here goes where, uh, the line of where you already did. Oh, that's not even close. Sorry, I need to be correct here. So right there. So okay. so that's where it should be. So what sort of line would I have here? So if I put, oh, the edge there maybe, on the light there, if I use that as a reference, that could work, I think. I think that could work. Yeah, that seems to be working. Where did it go now? Oh yeah, um, yeah. This is the part where I'm trying to fix because I had some issues with the up and down line there when I did the mowing first time. So that's why it's doing some weird sh stuff now. That's where it can be. So that could probably work. It seems to be working. Seems to be covering everything without much issue. Ah, uh, nice. Goodies, oh, into the. And then you follow by where have you precisely had the food cost? We are holding for spell in. We could your bottom at your picture, I'll hear. You would have saw your doodly snobbing. I saw the flare going to leave. What did it? I also can do. Good. That was my son, by the way. Who I asked kindly if I could record, and he said yes. But he has no recollection of that now because this is like 15 minutes later, and uh, 15, I don't know, a bit later, and <laughs> he, he doesn't really remember these things. Okay, anyway, um, so this is um, that light there seems to be a good reference point for the edge of. So I get a, a good coverage. I won't miss anything, but I won't do too much overlapping either. So I don't know. I, I, I don't know if you, I, do you use those. I guess you could use those sort of references in real life, I guess. You have to do some sort of reference. If this works, it should work on the other one because it has the same light on both sides, so it shouldn't be an issue. Thinking. It's around there. Yeah, seems to be working. We'll go across here, up and down once more on this this field here, so we get sort of a straight line across this whole field.
So we've got a little left because we yeah, think this is okay. Blue mower going across there. Let's see. <laughs> and then we're gonna gotta go and windrow this, which is more interesting than this, I guess. This is a bit boring. Okay, okay, I'll actually go down between these rows if you look in the ground there uh, and different rows of mowing I want to do. Probably work until a little point up here when it won't work anymore. So we'll follow the light. I think we'll use light, uh, light as reference. I think that probably works better. You know, it don't have to be. I mean, I, I'll, I'm using a left, or in this case, the right side of the light as the reference point. Not the light itself, the, the left side, or right side of the light. Keeping pretty good, sp pretty good speed compared to and the mower is slightly faster, I think, but we're not too slow. Just like a kilometer or something. No, actually, I think it goes at 25, right? I think the mower goes at 25 kilometers per hour, and I think and this goes at 19, so it's slightly slower, but not too much actually. So hope everyone is doing okay. By the time you see this, I've actually been at my work thingy, work conference, and I'm home again. Um, yesterday's episode, I was still there. Um, so hopefully you had a good time at the Steam Hotel in Vestigos. Uh, I think my boss, my my not my closest boss, but my the department head, head of the department, she's. Um, not retiring, she's quitting. She's going to do some other stuff, work more as a psychotherapist, which she is. And uh, so she wanted a nice, nice last work conference. So that's why we got a nice work conference. Um, so that will be interesting. Good, cool. And uh, she's uh, quitting. She's and ends her. She's going to quit this summer. Then it's going to be like, I don't know, interesting to see what will happen after that. We don't know what, sh we won't have a head of the department for at least six, six months or so. And then we'll see what will happen. But that's an issue. I have to go and <laughs> help my son because he pooped. And I need to wipe his behind, basically. I'll be right back. Wait.
sorry about that. I'm back. Um, so, I'm um, oh, sorry. Get that down. Could probably put up an A and B line here. So we have an A and B line. And the mower is still Ah. Ah, hur många pickar är det? Det är 117. 117, det är jättemånga pickar. Bra. Så kan du dots. So the mower there is at its it's, at, it's done. The mower is done and we continue here. With this. Really exciting work. Not so much maybe. I don't know. It's important. We need to do this. Let's go and we are mowing and mowing and mowing and mowing. I'm just gonna go and get the mower turned off. There goes. Stop. Fold it. It's a really cool machine. Since we have so many cars, it's, it's really, when I mean, this is definitely a good thing, a good investment. It was really pricey, but uh, pricey is okay when you need it. And if you have the money, we have definitely had, had the money even then. I haven't, didn't use it a lot in the beginning, though. Um, think now when we have so many cows and now when we're gonna have a, a more some more grass fields they will be much more used utilized than before basically um, which is good because it did cost a lot of money and it's good to have something that also uh, use something which costs a lot of money so the more we use it the better it is I have a bit, not that far left, but a little bit left to mow. And then we have to windrow this field, so. And then bail it, of course, which is the last thing to do. Um, and we, we can go get the bail after we windrow it, so. That's pretty good. <laughs> and then the rest will do just grass bales, uh, mow grass, turn grass bales, and then um, si turn those into silage bales. This is, I mean, farmers much must spend quite a lot of time alone. I guess you have to enjoy being alone if you're a farmer. 
they seem to be pretty social people too. I mean, maybe that's the reason why they're pretty social, because they spend so much time alone, but... Uh, thinking they do need to enjoy loneliness. They probably do what the rest of us do too. Listen to the radio and talk on the phone and that sort of stuff. Watch movie. I guess you could, if you have an automated tracker with your GPS and honesty, you could probably watch movies. Which could be fun, I guess. It could be interesting work. I would just get bored by that too. I, it's I mean, sometimes I feel like, oh, I want to have a work or a job where I do this and this and this, and I would, then I realize I would get bored. Uh, really bored so then I realize I'm not too I'm happy that I don't have that sort of jobs job like a monotone monotone one do it one thing over and over again kind of job I would get bored by that sometimes get bored by my work and then my line work isn't very monotone one thing at a time it's very different different day from day time sort of thing So I would definitely get bored with a job which had me doing the same thing over and over again. Then again, I mean, sometimes, I mean, this kind of, even this, if this job is kind of boring, you do definitely see some sort of result of your, what you're doing. So in that sense, I think you, it's probably good, nice to have this sort of jobs because you 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 see things happening you can see the results of of going up this hill with the tether well i guess it, 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 on a farm you wouldn't see that much result but you would know when you feed the cows that you did this and you would also know that by doing this i'm saving a ton of money of buying stuff or buying food so um that's probably I'm thinking so you have sort of a direct more direct connection with what you're doing and the change or the difference it's making if you look at my line of work social work it's I mean, a lot of times it's really difficult if not impossible to see what the change you see the different small different changes in a lot of people's lives and you can that's a good thing but most of the time this change is really slow and you have to remind yourself over time you have to look back if you had a case i had, I had a case i have a case which i had like three and a half years and and i have to remind myself to look back on where we started and where we are now to sort of see the difference and the um, the progress progress basically with which has happened and otherwise I, w I would sort of get stuck at not thinking about that uh, so that's an important part to look at progress uh, so it's Saturday when I'm recording this um, sun is out looks nice uh, I need to go eat some sort of breakfast and then I need to go to the store and do some shopping Grocery shopping. I usually usually do the grocery shopping once a week. <laughs> Need to go and do that. Ah, oh, good. Ah, oh, yes, yes. So we can call us and we hit that there. Ah, we we can call us and yeah, clear. Ah, we can call us. We hit that there, son. Hey, it's good. So you have found a game for Xbox, uh, The Incredibles 2, I think it was called. I was wondering if he, we could upload it. We'll see if we can upload it, if it costs a lot of money or what. Uh, we, maybe we'll buy it. We have some sort of subscription thing also, so we can... Uh, some games will just... we can get without any cost and you just... As long as you have the subscription thing, we'll be able to download it and use it and play it. But we don't actually own the game, you just subscribe to the 
possibility of using them, which is fair enough, but I don't mind that. That's pretty good. Sometimes, because I have a lot of, the thing about games is they have a sort of shelf life, so you can play them, but eventually newer games, newer consoles, everything. I have a ton of games lying around in boxes on, in upstairs in our storage room, which I I don't even know if they can play them anymore, but they're lying there and paid for them, but not really, so I'm not going to use them again, ever, probably, so I don't know why I have them there, but I do. So 44.8 hours on this tractor, that's pretty cool. The other one is over 50, I think. I think this is like 50 something. 50, oh, almost 60 actually. So we're gonna go and do first the middle part and then we'll do headland last. So we'll start with this side of the field. straight here so well and we'll go down here we'll s turn around and we'll do the other way and then we'll in the end we'll do just a uh, headland around the whole thing hopefully that will work out okay then we have uh, something to bail, which we'll do in this one. This tractor, I think this is okay. Good tractor to do that in. So we'll go towards the end here. It will stop by itself. Whee! I keep think that's kind of cool. Lift it up and stop it. We'll go here. Start it, lower it, and, and run. We'll sort everything out with the headland later. Uh, this is good, and there's actually one a crony swadro 2000, I think, on one of the one pages, which is 18 meters wide. I think this is like what is it, 14 meters, so like another four meters. And that's a gigantic uh, windrower, but I haven't tried it out. But it could be cool, probably. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode a little bit. Uh, I'm Andy, uh, this has been a Let's Play on the Bjarke Top Chord, and we'll see what we'll figure out to do on next. We'll continue with the grass, uh, probably, I think. Uh, we'll see about that, and um, if, you, if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment, or share, and I will see you next time. Take care, everyone, and have a great day out there. Let's see if we can figure this out. Yay. Okay, cool. Bye-bye.